Hello world folks, it's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before I move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. In case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for guys? Hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to press that bell icon. Prince Harry's memoir, Spare, has made headlines around the world with a series of sensational claims about the royal family, including that his brother physically attacked him, and that Camille be free newspapers about him to rehabilitate her own image. In the interviews promoting the book, Harry claims that the press has lied about him for many years, and that he's written the book to ensure the truth will come from my lips rather than using other people. He also wrote in Spare that there's just as much truth in what I remember and how I remember it as there is in the so-called objective facts. The stance might be why his claims have been subject to intense scrutiny, and as a result, details of one incident about his father-in-law have been questioned over their accuracy by an airline in New Zealand. It revolves around the period of time when Thomas Markle, Meghan Markle's now estranged father, was coming under heavy press scrutiny in his Mexican home. Mary describes in his book that he and Meghan sorted out a first-class journey to the UK for him on Air New Zealand flight. Harry wrote that the incident occurred in the run-up to the couple's wedding in 2018, when Thomas was accused of staging paparazzi pictures. He claims Meghan impressed upon her father that accusations were serious because if he told the publication the story was false and Thomas had in fact participated in the photos, they would lose credibility and would be impossible to kill any future stories. He writes, Meghan said, we might be able to kill this story, Daddy, but turns out if you're lying, we'll never be able to kill a false story about ourselves or our children again. So this is serious. You must tell us the truth. Harry continues that Thomas swore he wasn't involved in setting up pictures. Because Megan believed her father, Harry, writes it, she booked him a first-class ticket to the UK from Mexico on Air New Zealand flight. In case we told him, leave Mexico now, Harry writes in spare, a whole new level of harassment's about to rain down on you. So come to Britain. Now we'll arrange for an apartment where you can hole up safely until your flight, Air New Zealand, first class, booked and paid for by Meg. Harry claims Meghan Markle refused the couple's offer as he had things to do. However, the New Zealand Herald had since reported that no such flights exist, as Air New Zealand doesn't operate flights on that route and doesn't have a first class option. Only a business class section is available for their customers. The Herald said Air NZ respond to questions about these claims from the Herald, pointing out it only provides business premier fares rather than first class as the book claimed. So, what do you guys think about this news? Do you think Harry and Meghan's underrated memoir trick is finally exposed? Write it in the comments section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Royal updates like this, subscribe and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So, until next time, hasta la vista.